once the divorce is finalized, can the documents be altered if something new arises? Yeah, great question. So in the legal world, this is called modifications. Um, and so most states would call it that. And in Georgia, it's considered like a modification of custody or a modification of child support or alimony. Um, you can't, at least in Georgia, you cannot modify the settlement agreement. So let's say your house sold, your marital house sold and you guys split the proceeds 50-50. That, that stuff is set and sewn in Georgia. And definitely talk with your lawyer about, okay, if I sign this in my divorce, like what is modifiable? Uh, but yes, you can modify things like child custody, child support. And then, you know, reasons are various. It's typically things like someone lost their job. Somebody, um, you know, makes more money now. Um, somebody moved. Someone's now into drugs. Somebody has got a DUI with the child, children in the car. Um, someone's having a mental breakdown. I mean, there's all these different reasons why you might want to modify child support or child custody. Um, I do. I will tell you, Rob, a lot of my clients always ask me, well, how do I know that I should modify child support. Like how in the world am I supposed to know that my ex spouse, male or female, um, is now making more money? And I always say to them, you will know because they will tell you because they're posting all over social media um, about going on lavish trips and they're buying all these new things. And then they show up to pick up the kids in a Range Rover. You know, so I always say they will somehow tell you, they will give you some tidbit of information. Um, but yeah, you can modify things later um, and just be sure to check with your local counsel, local lawyers yeah. to figure out what the law is in your state. But it might make sense, right? Because when you got divorced, maybe your kiddo was, you know, two and now your kiddo is eight and things have changed or maybe somebody has moved and the parenting plan, you know, Thursday to Monday just doesn't work anymore. Um, or maybe the 50-50 doesn't schedule doesn't work anymore for whatever reason. Someone's moved, someone's changed jobs, someone's work schedule's changed, or someone's now a drug addict. There's all these reasons, and the law allows for that. Yeah, it's very hard when you're going through it to picture what you're going to be going through next month, forget in five years. Uh, and that said, though, I think there are, before you sign those papers, I know we all just want to get it done. We've come this far. Give me the papers. I'll sign it. A lot of those things cannot be changed. So, you know, talk to your attorney, maybe talk to friends who have gone through it before you make that final decision. Yeah. Yeah. I unfortunately see that a lot. It's an emotional decision instead of a reasonable one um, or a rational one. And so I always encourage folks, are you sure? Like, are you sure you want to do this? Double check this, think on it, sleep on it. Because some of those things in the, in the settlement can't be changed. 